Hey guys, it's Carly, and I just wanted to come on and give you an idea of what we did for the stations around the house before we brought the babies home. Um, I am actually going through and cleaning everything up today and condensing stations down because they're now in their nursery. They're three and a half months old and out of our room. And it's so sad, but they grew out of their double bassinet. And so they are in their cribs now. It is still a hard transition. Everett is waking up every two to three hours again because of the change but we have to do it. Their bassinet is maxed out for their weights. They are 14 and 16 pounds and the bassinet maxes out at 30 pounds and so they're pretty much done. They actually might weigh more now because our doctor appointment was a little bit ago. So um, just for safety reasons, I had to transition them and it was so sad. It's crazy to think that we'll never have a little newborn baby in our room ever again. It's like so sad but they're getting big and they like their little mobile now that they get to have in there that they didn't have in our room so it works out great but anyway as I'm cleaning and organizing I wanted to go through and give an idea of what we did before when they were teeny tiny babies because it really helped out a lot especially the fact that we have a two-story house and we had a lot of help from my family. Um, my mom and my sister would come over in the mornings and help us. My mom came, well she still does, but when they were teeny tiny she came every single day at four in the morning and she would just take the babies out of their bassinets in our room and she would take them downstairs and she would put them in the pack and play bassinets down there and she would cover a feeding so my husband and I could sleep. So I will show you all of that setup so that way if you have a two-story home and you're expecting twins or even if you're expecting just a singleton baby, it's an amazing setup and we used every single station. Before the babies were born, my husband thought I was insane for setting up like five different stations around the house with diapers and wipes and birth cloths but I was on YouTube and watching all of these type of videos and getting ideas and so I did it and it worked amazing so I thought I would show what I did. Okay so this is our master bedroom. This is our bed. My husband sleeps on the left. I sleep on the right. And this is where we had the babies. So I have a little bench here that is underneath our window, mainly for my dog, so she could look out at the backyard <laughs> and watch all the squirrels and the birds. But I have a little basket here. It was much fuller before when the babies were still in here. But we have some burp cloths, Vaseline, which we mainly used whenever it had a circumcision. You have to put it in the diaper. And then we use it now on Amelia because she has eczema. So we still use it. But I had Vaseline in here. Um, bibs because they are spitters. They ever it's a happy spitter and Amelia actually has reflux really bad. And so I would have to sit them upright for um, 15 to 30 minutes after each feeding and I would just put the boppy loungers here when they were teeny tiny and they couldn't roll or anything and set one of them in them while they while I fed the other and then I was able to put that one to bed but anyway blah 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 the point of that is why we have bibs in here at such young ages and then diapers these are actually size ones and they're in size twos now which is so crazy and wipes so this is their double bassinet. It is the Delta Children's double bassinet. It's only been out, I don't even think it's been out a year yet. It came out in springtime. And it's a great, more affordable alternative to the Halo bassinet. I had really wanted the Halo bassinet, but with COVID and everything, I didn't want to buy it used. And $500 for a bassinet when you're buying double of everything was just too crazy for me. I couldn't do it. So I got this one and it worked out perfectly. It has four huge pockets, two on the front and two on the back. It does have wheels on it, but I don't think those wheels work well. They definitely don't work on carpet. You're supposed to be able to like scoot it in and out from your bed. That never worked, but it didn't matter because I had a C-section. And so I couldn't really, I wouldn't have been able to do that anyway while I was laying in bed. And also because I had a C-section, I couldn't like lay here and then just grab the baby out, even if I had the bassinet over the bed. 
it just didn't, I couldn't like sit up that easily with the C-section. So, um, the halo wouldn't have made a lot of sense anyway. So I actually sat myself up, sat up and then lifted the babies out of bed. And I just feel like it was safer anyway. But anyway, so this actually can go over the bed, but we have a low to the ground bed frame. So it did not go over our bed, which is fine because we also have an adjustable bed, like an old person. And so I wouldn't have been able to like lift myself up and down in our adjustable bed if I did, but I always had a bottle of water and I have a little mini fridge. This was amazing. Um, a lot of formula fed, um, YouTubers or moms out there suggested it because they would keep their formula in here and then they would have it for when they fed the baby. I didn't use it for that. I used it for these nipple um, soothing packs. I would keep those cold. Um, and then I would use it for like, or I still do use it for the Hakka at night. If I use the Hakka and collect milk, I put it in there until I'm ready to go downstairs. Or when I was pumping, I would use it when I would pump, I would put the milk in here after I pumped. So I just didn't have to walk up and down the stairs. So I think I got it for like 25 bucks at Home Depot, but they have tons on Amazon and it's amazing. I've got one little one sleeping right now. The other one's downstairs with dad. Um, yeah, so I'll take you into the other stations. So this is our hallway bathroom. It's right next door to our master. We have a master bathroom, but since that's where we got ready and everything, we thought it would be better to set this bathroom up because we didn't use it for like actual getting ready for our day. So we created another washing station. We have the little boon drying rack, a bottle wash, dish soap and hand soap and then a little basket here that was again much fuller before i had tons of these kind breast milk bags for when i used to pump a bunch i don't pump as much anymore i just had to a bunch at the beginning to get my milk supply up now that my milk supply is up and because we're testing out intolerances and allergies i don't pump as much but i had all my medication for post recovery my nipple cream breast milk pads and my pumping stuff Ooh, a hair baby crying i gotta go find her okay so this is down the hallway from our master bedroom into our laundry room we're still renovating our whole house so bear with me on the not so cuteness of it but um my husband's favorite station is in here because he keeps shampoo and body wash for the babies for when they blow out their diapers he just rinses them off in here puts the clothes directly into the washer lays the baby here and changes them here when the babies were first born he did not change the babies without gloves on because he was so grossed out by their breast milk poop <laughs> Now he does it bare hands, but if it's a really bad blowout, he'll still use those. And then we have wipes in here too. Okay, so here is our living room and our stations here. This is next to where I breastfeed mainly. So I have grape water, I have Amelia's medicine. Everett was taking medicine too for a while. And then their vitamin D drops, probiotics, nail clippers, all of that fun stuff right next to where I sit a lot of the times and breastfeed them. And this is our main station that we used a ton right now it's set up more as a changing station and storage we don't put the babies in the boppies in there those are just there to get out of the way but um for the changing station i always put one of these little liners and i actually put these in the bassinet too they're amazing i got tons of them and they spit up a lot so all but my stuff isn't really getting dirty because i put extra reinforcement down but we use this every single day. Now we mainly use it for all of this storage, but um, we used it when they were little for their beds for down here, which I'll show you what it looks like. But I keep like washcloths in here for their spit up, their, oh, I hear the baby crying. I might have to go help my husband. The wipes, diapers, I haven't had to use diaper cream yet but I just have it around I use this on Amelia's neck because she spits up so much that her neck is getting like rashy and raw so my mom got her this Burt's Bees powder 
just to keep her neck dry. And then we've got like pacifier wipes. And with COVID going on, we've been doing lots of temperature on everybody in the house, not just the babies, just in case. Thankfully, we haven't had anything happen, but I've got their little toy area and their swings. So originally I thought these swings were way too bulky and big and I did not want two of them, but they have been a lifesaver. I will do a full review on the swings, but they change sides and they play music and the babies love their swings. But some more stations. So I have in these baskets their sleep sacks, which before it was swaddles, we had used every kind of swaddle under the sun and they used them all. Some changes of clothes because, you know, they spit up a lot and more, what are these called? Bibs. <laughs> more bibs all of these receiving blankets that we use as burp cloths because real burp cloths are so teeny tiny and then muslin blankets we have tons of muslin blankets that we just throw over the boppy or over their swings as you could see because they spit up a bunch and we don't want everything smelling like sour milk and then tons of blankets tons and tons more blankets that we keep over here and these drawers have, it was packed to the gills before the babies came home, but we have since depleted our stash. But we have diapers. We usually keep wipes in here. My husband's gloves that I told you he used to use. A lot of friends got us these, which we haven't had to use yet, but it was summer when they were born. So I imagine when they're older, we'll use lots of those. More diaper rash cream that thankfully we haven't really had to use yet. And then I just got on the essential oils bandwagon. So I have those in there, <laughs> but uh, I don't use those for the babies. And then in here, I have their little toys, which we're using much more of now that they are three months old, but I didn't really use that when they were little. So that is our living room setup. So I also wanted to show you what it looked like when the babies were really little. We used the bassinet toppers every single day, probably until they were like two months old and they grew out of them. Um, we loved them so, so much and they snap on and off. They sit up on their own and you can just rock the babies like that. They were born in the summer, so I would take them out on the front porch. We did a lot of masked front porch visits with friends and family at first because of COVID. I mean, we still do mass visits now, but when they were little and we wanted to show people the babies, we went out on the front porch and I could just leave them sleeping in here take it out, carry them out to the front porch, and it was amazing. And then we also took a little trip to the coast where we were able to bring this and they were used to sleeping in it because they slept in it every day when my mom was here in the mornings. So this snaps in and they just laid in here. You can put this up for when it was sunny or you could leave it down. And then it has these little packs that come off that has a light on it. It has vibrations, music. My mom would use like the soothing noise because we would play white noise at night. So she would use the soothing noise. And then I actually, I would keep one down here and I would keep one and I clipped it to the side of our bassinet upstairs and I used that upstairs. So it's cool that it's portable and you can do, you know, whatever with it. But that's what it looked like for the first two months and now we'd use it more as a changing station. Somebody was whiny butt and is not napping good right now. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. This is Everett. He is going through apparently what is called a sleep regression. <laughs> and we are trying to get through it. He has not been sleeping well at night. And hi, buddy. You're so cute. Oh, bless you. He has not been sleeping well at night and has not been doing good naps. So we've got to get through the rest of this video with him. This is our kitchen setup. This is where we wash and dried the dishes. We actually got this bucket from the hospital and we took it home because they said they were just going to throw it away. And we kept it to put like 
the bottle nipples and things like that soaking until we're ready to wash them. And then this is like our bottle drawer full of the kind bottles and just pumping parts and all of that fun stuff. So that's mainly what we have set up over here. Just a minute, buddy. And then in this big drawer down here, I just have all of their stuff that they're basically growing into, but all the bottle stuff and then all of their eating stuff, which we get to use eventually because our or their nutritionist is wanting them to start eating at four months and they're three and a half months. So we're going to use it soon. That is pretty much it for the stations around the house that we used for the twins when they were first born. Um, I will do an updated changing stations or getting ready stations around the house um, now that they are getting a little bit older because I'm going to rearrange some stuff and set up for Christmas today. So um, eventually I'll do an updated one of what we use now, but that's what we used from zero to three months and it was amazing and I literally used every single station. Okay, the babies are hungry. I hear Amelia upstairs crying and my husband trying to help her, so I gotta go. But thank you so much for following along with our family and please like and subscribe if you would like to stay up to date with the rest of our home and what we're doing with the twins. We just ate. Say hi. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay. Well, that was your debut, sister. Ha <laughs> ha.